Thank you to Jethan and your entire team and IFA for bringing us together in, in, in an actual room at the same time. And thank you for bringing the investors together for us to talk to because we certainly would like to ask for $5 million for 8% equity on our current $60 million valuation. Let me talk about where we got those figures. We are a three-year-old health tech firm. We produce risk insights on our, based on our analysis of social determinants of health data against data on health healthcare outcomes and costs. We've developed a geospatial platform on a multi-cloud environment with a federated workbench providing AI and machine learning capabilities along with epidemiological and statistical modeling that we can use on those diverse and global data sets of health, social, and environmental data to address a number of modern uh, problems in healthcare, ranging from treatment of chronic disease to reducing readmission rates and average length of stay for hospitals, which are key metrics to healthcare costs and hospital quality in the United States, to clinical problems like maternal and child health in labor delivery and postpartum, which is actually considered the number one indicator of healthcare posture of a nation by the World Health Organization, as, as well as diseases of uh, infectious disease spread, which of course, as we, we all know, is the cause of a, pan a pandemic. You would think a health tech guy could handle a projector. But yeah, the green button. <laughs> yeah. I don't really need the slides. I think the... In, uh, <laughs> I think the investors received our pitch deck, but uh, thank you. We got it. Thanks. So essentially, as a health tech firm, we've designed a solution, and we have a number of international partners that help us market and build the solution um, from cloud providers like AWS and IBM, on which we've built a platform that has amassed a global set of social determinants of health data which is a term we use in the United States, but we use it as really just how we define the world we live in. Because we know the world in which we live is probably the number one indicator of our overall health results or health outcomes. Our, our global data sets, which we get from governments, like in the United States, the Census Bureau, and globally from governments directly as well as international organizations that track health posture and health status like the World Bank, as well as data that we curate ourselves. As an example, during the pandemic, we provided our risk model for the disease, for the transmission and mortality of COVID to the WHO Afro office that dealt with countries and leveraged a network of on-the-ground health workers that we have access to through our relationships with international public health organizations. That specifically was the graph network. What we've experienced over the pandemic, there you go, perfect. What we've experienced over the pandemic is that the number one problem was that there wasn't a single concerted repository of validated information that global health, public health decision makers and industry could turn to to both understand the current state of the pandemic and make coordinated response solutions. So we built such a solution based on work that we have done analyzing social determinants of health data against healthcare costs for health systems in the United States, as well as work that we've done for FEMA to build for them a geospatial application that identifies a priori the health and medical needs of a disaster impacted population. So based on our work, FEMA can tell when a hurricane is about to strike or a wildfire on the west coast in this area, what kinds of needs they need to bring along with their initial first response capabilities. This is information that our contacts at FEMA told us that prior to our work, they did not have and did not have for campfire or for um, Hurricane Maria. If anybody could go to the next slide. But uh, <laughs> one minute, thank you. So we have a vetted pipeline of $100 million, $104 million of potential revenue. We are a excellent data science and public health team. Some of them are at the exhibit booth and they can talk through all of the models that we're building. Uh, and we will use this five million to fuel growth. We've learned of many new markets who need 
growth opportunities. We need health risk insights that we can provide. This money will be used to fuel growth. Uh, we have just signed a deal with the U.S. government to fund the de further development of a platform. So we will have the platform for global digital disease surveillance and intervention live by the end of the year. And we need your money or anyone's money. We'll take any check. To, to, fuel, to fuel growth, we're going to hire additional marketing and uh, sales and marketing team and build out our social media presence. Thank you.